guys, Trajan here, and today I'll be showing you all my jersey collections. And let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. This hey guys, Trajan here. I just want to say, remember that video from last year? So this is it. One year anniversary of me doing my jersey collection. So, welcome to Jersey Collection 2, guys. If you're reading the title. This is Jersey Collection 2. So basically, I'm going to be showing you all my jerseys from 2022. Anyways, let's get started. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. And case, you're wondering, yes. For football, for my, my favorite NFL team is the Washington Commanders. But let's get to a point for my jersey collections. Let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! So, guys, this is a Jack Hughes jersey once again from last year. He was first overall picked by New Jersey Devils in 2019. His first season was 2019 through 2020 in the NHL when I was in sixth grade. So, this jersey was signed actually. So, a couple years ago, well, back in September of 2019. So, me and my dad were going to a game. A, a Devil's Precinct game against the Islanders. And guess what? So, he was signing jerseys at the shop. And, like, I was the last one there and stuff. And, like, everyone was, like, cheering for me and saying, Sign for a kid! Sign for a kid! And stuff. And that was me, actually. So, he signed this jersey. Anyways, let's move on to the next jersey. So next up, guys, I have another Devils jersey. It's Nico Heischer. This was also signed. I actually got to sign this year on Devils autograph nights and stuff. So he signed it. Like his first, he was first overall by New Jersey Devils in 2017. His first season with Devils was 2017 through through 18 and stuff. That was his first season with the Devils. Like, he's actually now the captain now for Devils. Anyways, let's move on. Next up, I have a Thomas Tatar jersey. Also signed. I got this one signed on autograph night. The same night where I got Nico t-shirts and stuff. So this used so I but so guys, remember last year I showed you my guys named Marcus Johansson jersey? Well, I forgot about to tell you this, guys, last year. But I had two and last year. So, this was this one I used to wear for hockey and stuff when Mark Johansson played for the Devils and stuff. But then, but last year, my dad sent this out to a company where they where they got where they got rid of Johansson put Tar on. And so, the Tar signed this one and stuff. He first played, he was drafted by the Detroit Red, Red Rings. Then played for the Vegas Golden Knights, then Montreal Canadiens, then he he was in the Stanley Cup Finals with the Canadiens and the Knight and Vegas Golden Knights, but never won a cup. And his first year with the Devils was was 2021 2022 when I was in eighth grade. So, anyways, let's move on. So guys, you remember from the tar one that from, from the just now from the tar. So here's the Marcus Johansson one. This is the one I used to wear at games and stuff. The other one was for hockey. Yeah, it still has his name on it. See, Johansson. Well, he did play for Capitals. I do have a Capitals T-shirt of him. That was the one you saw when we did when me and Isley did stupid dancing. The one I wear every Fourth of July. That's a shirt I wear. But he re-signed the Capitals, so he played for the Capitals twice. He was drafted by the Capitals in 2009. So he played for the Capitals, Devils, Bruins, Buffalo, Kraken, then Capitals again. I got signed by some people too. Like I got signed by, I didn't get signed by him, by NJ Devil, the mascot, Bruce Driver. So anyways, let's move on. So guys, about this one. Like, I tried to basically make, like, so this is a Terry Hall one and stuff. I was trying to, like, take the tag off to make it just a blank. But I still got a professional done stuff. Like, I tried to take it off. Now, I, so Terry Hall played with the Oilers, 
Devils, Coyotes, Sabres, and Bruins. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, guys, that was it for Devils jerseys. So, here's, I have two Canadian jerseys, by the way. So, this is a Canadian jersey. This is a replica vintage one, by the way, guys. So, this is a Ken Dryden one. He played for the Canadians 71 through 79, won six Stanley Cups with them. Canadians were really good in the 70s with Guy Lafleur. Rest in peace to Guy Lafleur for PC he died actually in 2022 recently. So he played a short, but he was drafted by Bruins though. But then later, he went to Canadians, won six Stanley Cups. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, guys. So I have two Stanley Cup final jerseys on a stitch patch on each jersey. They these two. Uh, this is the Washington Capitals right here and Vegas Golden Knights. So they both played each other in the Stanley Cup final 2018. The Capitals won that year. So this is a stadium Washington Capitals jersey. They played the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Capitals won. And this is an Alexander Ovechkin one. This is a stadium one. They wore outdoors. They won a Stanley Cup in 2018. Yeah, guys. Colorado Avalanche actually won a Stanley Cup this year in 2022. So, guys, let's move on. Here's the Vegas one. So, the Vegas is like an, like another expan was an expansion team 16 through 17. Their first year was 17 through 18, though. So, they made their Stanley Cup finals in their first year. This is a William Carlson one. Love the gold. This is actually a pretty good gold fabric. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is a Chicago Blackhawks. Patrick Kane. He was first overall in 2007, the year I was born. So this is a Patrick Kane one. I wore this jersey when, we, when I went to, to Chicago. Back in November. So I wore this jersey to the game, actually. Pretty cool jersey, huh? Like, but now in these days, like, this is like, they only wore this from 17 through 18 and 19 through 20. They still have the same one, but I just took this white collar out and just replaced it with the red one. With the red neckline. Anyways, let's move on. So this is a San Jose Sharks one. This is only a couple of Reeboks I have, actually, guys. So this is a San Jose Sharks one. It, this is Logan Couture. He was drafted in 2007 by the Sharks. This is their alternate alternative jersey, the black one by Reebok, from in 16 through 17. Anyway, oh, Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is a New York Islanders Islanders Lee jersey. Yes, he's now the captain. So he was drafted in the sixth round, two thousand nine, by New York Islanders. He's my favorite player on the Islanders. Anyways, let's move on. Next up is a Philadelphia Flyers jersey I got for my birthday. This is actually given by my aunt, my mom's sister, actually. It was a birthday gift. So, this is a Claude Giroux Philadelphia Flyers jersey. Well, Drew is actually not on Sanders now, guys. So, this is a Reebok version. This was before he was captain. Be, before he was captain for the Philadelphia Flyers. This is like a 2011 jersey or like a 2012 jersey. Because when he, first, when he was first shot by the Flyers, he wore number 56, then became number 28. He didn't become the captain until like January of 2013. This is an uh, next up. I have an LA Kings reverse retro jersey. So what they did was so when they first started, they were like the Lakers colors, purple and yellow. Love this jersey. This jersey is sharp. If they changed their homes, I they would become my favorite team. If they did this. So this is what it looks like on the front. Back. 
Yeah, by the way, so I was playing NHL 21 one day, and I got drafted by Kings and stuff. I wore this jersey and stuff. It's a really sharp jersey and stuff. This, this is my name on the back, by the way, guys. I chose number 90 because of Marcus Johansson. Let's move on. So next up, I have two Connor McDavid jerseys. So Connor McDavid plays for Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton's in Canada, by the way, guys, in Alberta. So he was drafted in 2015, first overall. This is their Oilers home jersey. This was their alternative jersey, 18 through 19. Then they changed to dark blue ones. So this is on the back, on the front. So he's a captain. Anyways, let's move on. Next up, we have an Edmonton Oilers jersey, a replica, Adidas, alternative 18 through 19. So this is a Wayne Gretzky jersey. He played back in the 80s and 90s. He was like the most famous NHL player. He was the greatest and stuff. That's why he was called the great one. And he wore number 99. It was actually unique that he wore number 99. He won like four Stanley Cups with the Oilers. And he did play with the Kings, but lost against the Canadians. It's because there was a high, there was like an, a stick thing back then in 1993. Anyways, let's move on. So this is a Montreal Canadiens jersey. Carey Price. It was a winter, it's a winter classic jersey actually, guys. Back in 2016 when he played against the Boston Bruins. Carey Price was drafted in 2007 by Montreal Canadiens. Subban actually used to play for the Canadiens and stuff. He was like, he's now a Devils, he was a Devils player, but he's a free agent now and stuff. Anyways, let's move on. So this is a Boston Bruins jersey. Reverse retro. Number 88, Pasternak. So Pasternak is a place for Boston Bruins. He was drafted in 2014. He did make the Stanley Cup Finals back in 2019, but lost against the Blues. The reverse retros came out 2020 through 2021. When I was in seventh grade. I love the reverse retro guy. I might get more reverse retros. I don't like the Red Wings one because it looks like a practice jersey. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, next up, this was a jersey from Nacho. It's a New York Islanders stadium jersey when they play against the Rangers, but the Rangers won. They actually play on my birthday. It was actually on January 29th, 2014. My turn seven back then, actually, guys. I was only seven when they came when when this jersey came out. So it's a so it's a John Tavares jersey. It's cheaper getting with Tavares because he's now on the now on the Maple Leafs. And yeah, back then, the Island, when you went to Maple Leafs, the Islanders fans called him a traitor and stuff. So it was cheaper to get with Tavares. And actually, yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those scratchy things. Yeah, it's one of those scratchy, scratchy logos and stuff. I heard, like, I heard one of these, like, logos. It's kind of, these, when these logos are now, like, the FNAX ones, stuff where they can be scratchy. Anyways, let's move on. So, guys, this is actually my dad's jersey. He's also a Devils fan, too. He's a big Devils fan. He's been a Devils fan since 1982. So this is his new Devils jersey. I just love the reverse retro, so that's why I include this one. So this is a Jack Hughes one, like I said before. Just love the style of it. This is like my third favorite reverse retro jersey and stuff because it's just so sharp and stuff. It's like Christmas colors and Christmas is my favorite holiday of all time. So it's possible I might want to get like this jersey, like this kind of style of jersey because it looks so sharp. I might want to get a Hughes one too because the other one, the Hughes one I have already is like getting too small for me. I had that since I was in sixth grade. So I might want a new one of these. I want this kind of style too. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is remember this from last year. This is a Hartford Whaler jersey. This is I got this was from my the garage. This is it. So this is 
a one from the 1990s. It's just a blank. So the Harvard Railroad are actually now the Carolina Hurricanes. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is a Toronto Maple Leafs one, a blue one. This was my dad's and stuff. It's their old logo. I kind of preferred this old logo instead of the new one. So th these are all actually, by the way, the rest of them, all of them, all vintage NHL jerseys and stuff. And it's just a blank too. They used to be, when they first started, they were not the Toronto Maple Leafs. They were like the Toronto Arenas and the Toronto St. Pat's. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is an LA Kings vintage jersey. This was my dad's. So this is, this. so this jersey is like purple and silver and black. Basically it was like a combination of the, of the Lakers and the Raiders and stuff. It was pretty unique for LA back then. I mean, this logo is pretty nice too, but the one for reverse retro is nicer though. It's just a blank too. Anyways, let's move on. Next up is a Pittsburgh Penguins vintage jersey from the 90s. It's just a blank. There's like, Mary Lemieux used to like wear this kind of, this jersey, this jersey style. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is, from, it's like a, this is a Buffalo Sabres practice jersey worn by a Buffalo Sabres player. My dad got this when the Buffalo Sabres played the Montreal Canadiens back in the 90s, but I don't know which player this is, but he used to wear this on the ice a lot when he played hockey. I think he did when he, he wore it when he played hockey. Anyways, let's move on. So guys, this is a Buffalo Sabres jersey from the 90s when Don McCaslick wore this jersey. It's just a blank. This one was my dad's. When he first started following hockey in 1975, he was first a Buffalo Sabres fan. His favorite player was Gilbert Perot. But this is, so this is a vintage one. He was number 11, Gilbert Pro. This is actually a pretty sharp jersey. Anyways, let's move on. This is an NHL All-Stars jersey from like 2004 or something. This is an Eastern Conference. This is a CCM one, brand one. It's just a blank. Anyways, let's move on. Next up, this is an Ottawa Sanders jersey from like 2006. Another, another gold fabric like they did for the Vegas Gold Knights, but on the logo this time. And this is their current logo right here. And it's just a blank too. Pretty sharp jersey. Anyways, let's move on. This is a vintage Devils jersey when I changed to black from green. So this is my dad's jersey. He used to wear this when he played hockey. This is, this is the back, just a blank. This is the front. Anyways, let's move on. By the way, the the white jerseys you back in nine back then used to be their home jerseys, and the dark ones used to be away. But now they switch. So the dark jerseys are their home jerseys, and the white ones are the away jersey. I kind of like it now. I kind of like the idea now. Let's move on. So guys, these two jerseys are my first jerseys I played hockey with. And by the way, that was different NHL jerseys. I, last year, I did have a Predators jersey, but I donated it because it was too small for me. So, this jersey does look sharp. So, here's the back of it. Yeah, I chose 92. Anyways, let's move on. So, guys, this is the last one. So, th this is the team I play for now. Morristown Junior Colonials. And here's the back of it. These jerseys do look really sharp. Anyways, that was it. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell for new videos. As always, see you next time. Also remember, peace out, Girl Scout, and subscribe for new.